I just got to play the technical test of the brand new asymmetrical horror game featuring our favorite basement camper. And in this game, our little bubba starts in the basement. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game and it is quite unique and a whole lot of fun. The full game is released on the 19th of August, so make sure you go wishlist this on Steam if you enjoy the look of it from this video. Let me explain how this game works and why it is so much fun and I'll make sure to use as many DVD references as possible so that you nerds know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, first up, this game is an asim horror, just like DVD, but instead of one killer that gets bullied by four survivors, we have three family members that get to work together to kill four victims. The victim's role is to escape, but unlike the very entertaining and engaging objective of DVD, DVD. The victims escape by sneaking around the map, disarming traps to get to any of the multiple exits, each of which require you to complete different objectives to allow you to teabag that baby bubba before you leave. Now, the family's role is basically the same as DBD, but it's executed a little bit differently. They need to kill the victims and stop them from escaping. But unlike DBD, you don't get the down quite as quickly and the survivors don't really have as much second chances. If they mess up badly, they're dead. But if you manage to lose them, which is a lot easier than it may seem, then you need to go find somebody else or continue to try and try them down. The victims have a stamina bar and a health bar. Each time you hit a victim, they lose some of that health bar. The different family members do different amounts of damage and have different abilities that help them to find and catch the victims. Once you hit a victim and that bar hits zero, then you instantly begin mooring them and they're out of the game. The survivors can loot around the map collecting stuff such as lockpicks, bone knife things, and health bottles. These items are going to help you in a variety of circumstances, and you can use these health bottles as well to repair your health after a close encounter with that weird homeless guy. But traversing the map, if you aren't careful, can create normal Noise, which will alert the family and make it easier to find you. Now, you may be wondering, if the family can kill you just by hitting you a bunch of times, how the hell does this game stop you from getting tunneled out? Well, the good news is that you can also loop in this game. Well, kinda. There are obstacles located around the map that give victims an advantage when being chased. For example, there are these little holes that you can open so you can crawl through them and make an easy escape. There are also tight squeezes and vaults. Some of the family members can avoid these or they can stop you from using them in the future by breaking them but they usually give you enough distance and break line of sight for long enough that you're able to escape the killer and stealth out for a little bit. This game is quite different to DVD and I'm not so sure that it's going to need to compete with it considering they both play so uniquely. I've included one game where I play as the victim and one game where I play as our boy Bubba, so watch those games and let me know in the comments if you think this is going to give DVD a run for its money. This is the first time I've done a non-DVD video since I've grown my channel with DVD, so let me know if you like this kind of content, and if you do, then drop a like and subscribe so I know that this video is something you'd like to see more of in the future. And I'll see you in game. Alright, so we spawn in hanging upside down here. Uh, and we can struggle to escape. We want to make sure that bar on the left doesn't reach red uh, of the speaker because then we create like a loud noise notification and the killers can, can see our location, basically. So we want to make sure anything that has that little speaker icon that we do it really quietly and take our time with it. You see right here that if we do it too fast, we're too loud and we get caught. Basically, they can see where we are. Like that was really close. We nearly hit it. Nice. Um, we're removing a little barricade here so we can crawl through these little these little holes to allow us to escape. And basically we want to go and loot um, the area around us to help us escape. So we want to find lockpicks. This one gives us a little dagger, I think. Oh my God. Okay, we made a loud noise notification. My bad, my bad. Please don't come here, Bubba. I think he's right there. Oh my God. I can hear him. I'm gonna try to stealth this one out. noise and this is my this is my collective team's noise all right i'm not the loud one here i made one mistake all right grandpa all right bro leave me be i made one mistake okay i gotta stand still when that happens always we have our aura exposed like that idiot right there um, all right we can cut this down i think we have two uses of it we may as well use it right noise maker disarmed oh nice she's got the uh it's an unlock tool no get i need the unlock tool too so we can search these little little toolboxes for an unlock tool which lets us pick locks uh, same thing though this is a volume one. Oh, bro i hate that our camera is locked while doing this because if bubba just decides to sneak up behind us we're fucking screwed we're, like dead if he comes up right behind us we have a health bar on the bottom right uh so we can take a certain amount of hits depending on who the killer is they do more damage uh and once it reaches zero they basically mori us and we're dead uh Oh, we nearly made a noise. Okay, thank God. Oh, they escaped from the basement? Oh, right there. Okay, huge. I'm gonna sprint over that way. Um. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this as well. 
I don't know if we needed to do that, but at least they won't know where we came from. Yellow aura means there's a killer nearby. So I'm going to fucking run and sneak over this way. Wait, is that barricade open here? Oh. Oh my god, that was Bubba. That was Bubba. Free, you nearly saw me. What is, I don't know what this does. Okay, I still have a lockpick though. And I have a fuse now as well. I'm not really sure what the fuse does. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, wait, are they both there? I'm fucking running for it, holy shit. We're hiding here together. Oof. Oh my god. This guy's dead. Run, Sonny, run! He murdered him. No! No! Oh my god. Damn, Bubba just murdered somebody in front of me. RIP loops ahoy. Oh, and he left. Holy shit. Alright. This is the back door. I'm gonna try to lock it, uh, pick the lock real quick. No way, I wait for him to leave. He see me, fuck, I gotta run. The crawl space, nice. Okay, we can clamp through here. This is the uh, back door, we don't really want to go there. The, this is like the side room. Um. It doesn't actually help us escape, it just helps us, like, I guess avoid them for a little bit. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, they killed somebody else as well? Oh, man. Wait, we can put a fuse in here? I don't know what this one is, I've never done this one before. Oh, what? Um, match the fuse color with the correct slot. I will be spot in the basement, exit will open temporarily. Oh, wait, we- oh! We can actually move them onto there! Bro, I'm so goofy. Oh, 9 and 7 is 16, and then 6 and 3 is 9. Oh my god, math. I got it. Okay. Basement exit is opened. Oh, let me. Oh, but he's right there. Oh, bro, we're gonna sprint. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're gonna run out the back door. And we're gonna jump into this little exit. Yeah, yeah, she's got the same idea. We fall down here. And if there's an escape that's easy enough. I don't know where the basement open, the one we just opened was, is. I don't even know you could escape this way. Keep sort of avoid detection. Oh, we don't have the time though. This looks promising. Nope, this is where I start. This is, this is where I wiggled free. Oh my God. Hey, what's that? What's that yellow glow? Is that? I'm gonna sprint. Oh, that's a dead end. I have time, I swear. I swear to god, if I get there and it's closed, I'm gonna cry. Um, is that is that something we can... Use fuse box to open? We did! Oh my god, we have to go do it again. Alright, we gotta go back upstairs. Do you think we can... Bro, grandpa's level 4? We were too slow. What are the chances that we can sneak back up again? Fuck, we made noise. Is this doors? Oh, this one hasn't been unlocked. It's also been unlocked? Wait, where's the door that's been unlocked? Oh, I can throw some health on there. I can set up for it. Keep still to avoid detection by Grandpa. Well, uh, that's not going to happen. Sorry, King. Grandpa can... Detect me all he wants. Uh, I got the cook after me. Oh my god, and the hitchhiker, bro, what? In the kitchen? He see me? He did. Oh, he did. Uh, he can see through these walls as well, I think. 
Where is the door? Wait, it's right there. Okay. I, I don't have time. Bro, this shit's going on too often. I know the stairs are here. Wait, the stairs aren't there. Oh no, we're gonna die. Okay, I believe that we can do this. Okay, let me escape in here. We reopened it, I think. I think we got it off. Okay, if we can just get back downstairs. Bro, no, this is so bad. Okay, we have like one HP left. It's just a slither. Oh my god, come on, we land. I believe in us. Okay, uh, it was this way from what I remember. Um, it was through the red room. I'm gonna guess it's over this way. I'm like 100% sure that I'm... Maximum, there was nowhere to hide. They have my aura infinitely now, I think. Uh, please be this way. No, he gets me! It was right up ahead! Oh bro, that was so close. And now he's gonna mori me. But I uh, fell onto the floor. And oh my god. Bro, I don't know what happened there. God damn it, we were so close. Alright, so from what I know, our job as killer is to obviously kill the victims. Uh, and we need to secure the property so we can, I guess, lock doors, uh, start generators which create electric like barriers to stop them, stuff like that. Um, we can give blood to Grandpa to level him up, and the higher level he is, the more frequently he does his little searches, which allows us to see the um, victims' auras when they move uh, in short durations. So we're going to do our best here and try to get a 4k, and we can mori every single one of them. So we're going to start off, we're going to start a immediately. Because, you know, we're Bubba. Bubba with his chainsaw, who the hell am I? So I guess the first thing is we can rev our chainsaw. Oh, we know they're right there. Okay. We can destroy these uh, barriers as well. Oh, there's somebody right there. We found them immediately. Okay, huge. I might try to cut them off instead of breaking out the barrier. Yeah, there's somebody right here. Oh my god, Leland, come back here, bro. Did we hit him? I can't tell. I think he ran back through. He did. Go, Bubba, go. Oh, he's big brain. Okay, they were really loud and woke up Grandpa, which is nice. I think we've kind of cornered him here. So we're going to break this and he's going to go behind us, very likely. Oh, he went in front of us. Even better. And he's running now when Grandpa's doing his little search thing. Which means that we see his aura. Oh, I overheated my chainsaw. Oh, Billy moment. Oh, bro, we could have had him right there. Is he going to come out of that little hidey hole then? Hmm. Oh, I knocked him back. He knocked me back. He stunned me. The Leland tech. All right, huge. Oh, she's here as well. Oh my god. She went to the red room, actually. Let's just chase her because she's... Looks like she's going to be in an easier position. I uh, will rev here because I think we can move a bit faster. Oh no, she gets away. Bro, they're looping me and juicing me right now. What is going on? I think I have this middle mouse button, which I think should be the auras of things around me and maybe gives me like a, not like a tracking mode. I'm not really sure. I don't think it gave me a tracking mode, but I found him. Bro, he's running. Oh, they always have these escapes. <laughs> oh my god, alright, we can catch around this way. I think he's gonna go through again. Do we bait it? Do we hit that? Yeah, we did hit that. Nice, it stored our chainsaw, but I think that was a big hit. Oh my god, Leland, really? What are you doing? He must be low. He's going to slam this door again. Yeah, we can slam it. Open. Come back here, Leland. Oh, that's the way out. He went a little hidey hole here. Not sure how to cut him off. 
I right, try to keep our chainsaw revved so we move fast. Oh, we got her! Let's go, dude. Mori time. Ah, rolled. Damn, that was crazy. Oh, somebody else is behind me as well. Oh my god, photobomb the Mori. Bro, this is DBD. What I can do is I can destroy these barricades so I can't use them. Which I should be doing because then I won't be getting looped as much. I also have a full blood thing. My blood is full, so I can go find Grandpa and go feed him some blood. Which time I go do now? <laughs> Alright, never mind. I found somebody else. I can't see him. Did I hit him? Alright, I'll come back to you, bro. Grandpa's hungry. Got my priority straight. I can see him in the background, bro. He's photobombing my grandpa feeding session. Increased victim detection range thanks to my feeding. Got a fuse. Oh, we got him too. Yeah, we're going crazy right now. This is a double Moira right now. Can we get a 4k Moira? Oh, they're my teammates. Are they... Look like they're chasing somebody upstairs. This will help them out because they won't be able to get away as easily. Oh, they got him. Let's go. We'll play, dude. All right, let's go find this last victim. Yeah, one guy left. Uh, I got some more blood for you, Grandpa. If I feed you, then maybe you'll have another hunt soon and we'll to find him a bit easier. I think they're downstairs. They're chasing him. Open the door. Open the door. I see him. Grandpa's hungry? Bro, I don't have time to feed Grandpa. I see him. I lost him. Oh, wait. This wasn't him, was it? Oh, it's the Hitchhiker. Oh, man. We're all searching for this poor, poor, poor last survivor. He's, he's listening out for him. What do you hear? What do you hear, Cook? Nothing. I have a feeling this guy... Who's left? It's Leland. Oh, we did see Leland earlier, so... He wasn't, like, crazy sneaky. Grandpa's, like, nearly ready to be fed again, so I can actually just collect some blood. Go feed him now, and maybe that'll give us the last little bit we need to find him. Don't worry, buddy. I'm feeding him. Oh, he killed him. Let's go. Damn. Over 4k again. GG easy survivors. Slut for RPD fucking went crazy, dude. I'll tell you what. God damn.